Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and our first official E30 Bauer that we are reviewing on the channel. This forms part of our customer car review that we've just completed. So I know my peeps watching from overseas, the UK and other overseas countries, you guys never had much of this. You guys were fortunate enough to get the full cabrios. This is South Africa's answer to not getting the colorless E30s. So stay tuned guys, it's going to be an awesome one. So standing behind me is a car that I sold to a very passionate gentleman who, go by, who goes by the name of DK. The only thing we did on the motor practically was to paint the motor to add a little bit of the white features on the intake and the tappet cover. The pa 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 don't laugh at me, but that is called launch control. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and our first official E30 Bauer review on a build that we've just completed. So standing behind me is a car that I sold to a very passionate gentleman who, go by, who goes by the name of DK. Now this is actually a funny story. So DK saw a few of our cars that we've built on Instagram and also YouTube and decided to reach out to us and ask us if we could build him his E30. At the time he took his E30 which was a two-door like this to someone to paint and do some work on. Unfortunately he wasn't happy with the work and he decided to bring the car to us to rebuild the car. When he brought his green two-door E30 to us, he saw the Bauer and he said he actually wanted a Bauer instead of a two-door. So at the time I was selling this 3 to 5 Bauer and I decided to do a deal and the deal went like this. So I traded DK's two-door E30 in and DK, DK paid a difference to purchase this vehicle and asked me to restore the vehicle for him. But the funny spin of the story is that DK's friend that was with him ended up buying the green two-door from me at the same time and also tasked us to rebuild the car. So that's a car that we're rebuilding currently and it's going to be featured on the upcoming episodes. But for now, we'll focus on DK's car. And DK at the time told me that when I sold the two cars and I closed the two deals on the full restorations, he said I must close the shop and go on a holiday because I'm such a good salesman, I deserve it. This being a 3 to 5 and a running condition car, there was no need for us to recon the motor. The only thing we did on the motor practically was to paint the motor to add a little bit of the white features on the intake and the tappet cover. The rest of the block was painted black, uh, cylinder head obviously in the normal silver and gearbox in the normal silver. Uh, the task here at hand was to get the engine bay to look as good as the exterior and the rest of the car. So we gave it a service and uh, you'll notice the car doesn't have the airflow meter. We are running a Dictator 60-2 system with the custom induction kit. The reason for that is because the client wanted the car to perform a bit better and also for him to be able to do the pa 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 pa, -pa thing at wherever he goes. <laughs> So that's the main reason as to why we went for the dictator. Don't laugh at my papa papa. -pa. I think it sounds cool anyway. Um, we did, however, um, put a new water bottle, which is standard. We put a new washer bottle. And a trick, if you want your engine bay to look good, change all the clamps, change all the bolts, the nuts that's holding a lot of the items. It's a cheap 
effective way to get your engine bay looking better. Also, I suggest putting the new bonnet foam because your engine bay looking good uh, is kind of like a talking point for the rest of your car. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like it. I hope you like the whole look and feel for this car. Um, I think the engine bay looks awesome. What do you guys think? Now we come to the exciting part, which is the shoes of the car and also the type of work we did on the suspension and braking system. So first up, a lot of guys love this wheel. Um, I understand why, because personally, it's one of the best wrapped wheels you can put in on E30. that will make the car look amazing. So what we have here is a set of 17 inch BBS wrapped wheels, right? Now, most of the E30s that we got in South Africa, in fact, all of the E30s, except the 325 IS, came with the 4100 suspension. Uh, so these wheels are currently 4100 PCD configuration. The front is 8.5J, the rears are 10J. Now, in order for us to give the car a little bit of character, um, I'm known for the white on white look. So we decided to paint the centers of the wheels white polish the lips to give it a split wheel effect and the tire size that we're running in the front is 195 40 17s. so you can see it's got a bit of a stretch if you're bagging the car and you want to get the car low i suggest you go with a 185 35 17 because we were running uh, uh, coilies on the car we decided to go with the 195 40 17 so personally i love the way it looks the stance is perfect on this car and in order to get the car to drive better we did a full recon on the suspension so we sorted out almost everything on the suspension that needed to be changed we also changed the discs the pads we recon the brake shoes so it got a full suspension makeover it also got a full braking system makeover and it's running a set of coilies Now, like I mentioned, your interior is where you spend most of your time, so you gotta be the most comfortable. This interior, when I sold the car, wasn't in a good condition. So we had to do a complete makeover on the interior. So myself and DK played around with ideas and he seen some of the Uber Caro seats that we have done and he decided he wanted to go with that look. A nice, neat uh, look, not to take away from the rest of the car. Um, however, I must say that the interior DK loves it, but it's on the fence now. And because of the exterior car, uh, uh, the, ex the way the exterior looks, he's deciding now whether we should change the interior to a brighter color. So maybe you guys can help. Let's help DK decide what interior would look good. I personally, I love this. You can see the sides we retrimmed in a gray fabric with the Uber Caro centers. We did a black OEM styled roof liner. We did a black carpet. The dashboard was recon. We put a new cubby lock, new gear boot. It's running its original MTEC one steering wheel. And we did the exterior of the roof as well, which is something we do often on a lot of cabriolet cars. Um, it's not an easy thing to do. In fact, the time frame to do a roof like this takes us about a week, just over a week. It's a mammoth task and you gotta do it right. Uh, so what do you guys think? Do you think DK should change the color of his interior or are we happy with it as it stands? Let us know in your comments down below and also what do you think of the car thus far? Do you like the look? Do you think it's a good look to go for? Or would you have preferred a completely OEM car? Personally, I always say it's your car. You do it according to your taste and DK wanted something that would stand out amongst the crowd. And personally, I think this is the car that will definitely stand out uh, amongst the crowd. What do you guys think? Now, I wanna give you guys a bit of background on what a Bauer is. A Bauer is basically known as the one with the pillar. 
So if you look at Celeb, if you look at Chulo, Chulo doesn't have the pillar and it's a full drop top. This is known as the bower and this is known as kind of like a taga top. Uh, the nice thing about this is it's a two-piece roof. So this section drops down. You put your cover over it so you can drive the car without, uh, obviously with the top down and it not moving up and down with the wind. The other nice thing is if you want to remove this piece, there's a special section in the boot where this top comes off, it slides into the boot and you have almost a full drop top E30. Now I mentioned in, earlier on that in South Africa we never got the pillarless. This was our answer to having cabriolets. I'm not sure why we never got the pillarless. I'd like to find out. So if you guys know why South Africa never got the E30 pillarless, I'm keen to know the reasoning behind it. Uh, please share it with us because remember this is a learning channel. So like I mentioned, we did redo the top. We stitched a brand new cover for the top. We redid the centerpiece uh, amongst some of the stuff that we've done on the car. To name a few things as well, uh, standard, we put the electronic antenna, we recon the beadings, uh, we painted the tow bar, and you'll notice the car's got a very nice exhaust system. So we replaced the set of headers and did a stainless steel exhaust, obviously by an outsourced person. But I want to start the car for you guys, and I want you guys to hear how insane this car starts. So are you ready? Are we ready? Pa, 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 pa. Don't laugh at me, but that is called launch control. That is why a lot of the guys like to put dictator in cars to get that effect. Uh, so again, 60 minus 2 dictator, launch control, branches, nice exhaust system, and you got yourself a very nice sounding E30. Now you'll notice a lot of E30s that come out of our shop has the celeb headlights. So naturally, DK wanted his car to stand out and look a bit different. So we opted to go with the celeb style headlights with the full halo rings. DK also, initially we had the amber indicators on. He wanted a different look. So I put a set of smoked crystal uh, bumper indicators. We, put a, we smoked the fog lights a little bit just to tie in with the black and white theme. We also put the anniversary badges on the car and replaced the center grill and the kidney grills, which makes the car look much newer. Uh, the color in, in, in question is called ice white. It's one of the whitest whites you can get. And personally, I love the way it looks on this E30, especially with the white on white wheels. We also managed to put the oil cooler cover. We changed the front lip and we fixed up the beadings and painted them in a satin black right around the car. I love the look of this car and, and personally, um, if I had to build a car for myself, this is what I do on the car. This is exactly how I would love this car. I might change the interior and go with a brighter interior, however, I love this look. I love the fact that it's toned down. And I like the fact that we have a conservative interior, which allows the paint and all the other stuff on the car to stand out more. So it doesn't take attention away from that. So who knows, maybe I'm changing a bit because you guys know me for bright interiors. Maybe I'm changing, maybe this car changed me. Who knows? Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you like the car. More so, when I did a video call with DK, his expression, he lost his mind. He literally lost his mind. And a few hours before we shot this video, a gentleman actually came into the shop and asked me to phone DK 
and find out if he will sell this car because it's one of the nicest powers. Uh, so DK might sell this car, he might not sell the car. He's on the fence, but if he sells the car, his instruction to me was find me an IS chip, my next car must be an IS. And that's the nice thing about this game. You start off somewhere and you build yourself up and eventually you end up to where you want to be. But the important thing is that you got to start somewhere. So all you peeps that want to buy e this, take it from me, the time to buy is now. Because eventually these cars are going to reach ridiculous prices that we never thought ever. And it's going to be too late to buy an e -30. This was one of the cars that went smooth without any hiccups. In fact, I'm so shocked that this car went so smooth. Um, in the industry, you do get cars that give you hiccups, you do get cars that give you stress. This was one of those cars that everything we did just flowed. And a massive shout out to DK for your patience and also for subscribing. DK, I see you, brah. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for supporting us and being patient with us and also allowing me to make suggestions on your car because ultimately where the car was when we initially started to where it is now, you allowed me a lot of creative freedom and I appreciate that, bro. Thank you so much and thank you so much for supporting me and a massive shout out to all you guys that are watching and subscribing and commenting. You guys rock. You guys are awesome. Remember, this channel is for you and it's for us as car people to learn and share our passion with each other and our knowledge so shout out to you guys and a special mention to the following peeps you guys are awesome you guys commenting and interacting with us we love you guys and i'll catch you guys on the next episode be safe guys